Well, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the garage. So I thought, why not? Let's go ahead and do one last video for this week until if I get a chance to do a hump day of the video a week on Tuesday. I said, why not? Let's go ahead because I was going through boxes. Y'all, I'm always constantly in the garage trying to thin out stuff, trying to separate out extras to give away or to, you know, just something. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get better. <laughs> trying to get better so as you can see the Savoy the custom of the week is already torn apart um, still hashing out the plans in my head I think I found the wheels for it which is fantastic got a real good idea what I'm doing with this car a real good idea but we'll see we'll see how it pans out if nothing else it'll be rusty as hell <laughs> just kidding y'all I'm trying not to go that route I want it to be a nice custom for y'all because y'all y'all really really voted on this one so um, I was going through some boxes and I found a couple things that cheese and crackers y'all my heart went out my heart it just I just had so much like when that that commercial comes on for all those dogs that need help and stuff my heart went out when I saw these cars that I I am the keeper of I am the keeper of these cars and I felt bad and yeah so I need to open them so here's one Go ahead and turn this up right here. Oh, yeah, sad. There's even a place on the back, so if you went to the racetrack, they could sign your car for you in this box. And there's limited to one or 10,000, it says. You see this number is like 9210. Yeah, pretty much the end of the run. There's not much, there's not any value in this. There really isn't. Uh, the box is obviously roached. If someone had ever gotten an autograph, it might have been put into a hard glass case. This was at a garage sale for like 25 cents. My mom bought it. She bought a whole bunch of these NASCAR for me. It is a racing champions, which is fantastic. Uh, because, you know, they're they're back again, but they're not what they used to be. This does have real rubber tires. So we will be opening up this one. This one... Uh, Super sad because I don't even know who opened it, but <laughs> you can tell it's already been opened. Uh, yeah, look at look at that price tag. KB Toys, ninety nine cents, and you can get ten speed points. Ten speed points for buying this car, and look what you could get on the back. Look what you could get. Look what's cruising your way when you join. You receive a speed bulletin, Hot Wheels poster club diecast license. Oh, oh, club driver's license, stickers, and a ramp. Man, look at that. I bet you that TV was expensive as hell, and so was that Jackie. Yeah, so you had to enclose points uh, to get signed up. And a check for two bucks. Man, wow. What year was this? 1990. Uh, not bad, because I was married in 91. So, yeah, so we're over 30 years old right here. Freaking fantastic. Look at this. Offer expires March 31st, 1993. Right there by my thumb. Fantastic. So we're going to open up that one too. And then this one just really broke my heart. <laughs> it really broke my heart. Uh, what year was this? Oh my goodness. I'm looking on the back here, y'all. I'm looking on the back. 1992. Uh, look at the condition of this car. The Mercedes-Benz 500 SL. New color. Walmart. 77 cents. Buy three max, buy three matchbox cars for a special lightning racer offer on the back. Let's see. All right. Well, there you go. There you go. No, this completed form with one dollar to cover postage and handling. Cheese and crackers. When was the last time you could mail a car for one dollar? Mailing one car costs you over six bucks. Cheese and crackers. Along with three UPC proofs of purchase from matchbox vehicle to receive a special matchbox lightning racer. Yeah, man, that was a while ago. But look at this card, man. Look at this thing. Cheese and crackers. All right, let's open them up. Let's go ahead and open up this Mercedes because I really, really want to open this up. This thing needs to freeze. Breathe, breathe, baby. Wow, okay. So you open up the bottom, but you can't open up at the top. All right, all right, I see you. Uh, looks like the glass is a little yellow. Go ahead and zoom on in there so we can all take a good look at it. 
damn this is such a nice car man wow that's just crazy yeah I was not a good care uh, caretaker of my cars um, this these cars have moved with me and my wife for over 30 years now uh, we were married in 91 so this year will be what 32 years we've been together it has my favorite matchbox wheels on it love a Mercedes we're just going to have to do a car show with just my Mercedes collection because I do have an affinity for Mercedes. It's got the proper color interior. Love that. I like the white with the two-tone. Don't like the 500 SEO on the side, but that's okay, y'all. I can live with that because this is vintage. This is brand new, open vintage. Even though the package pretty much opened itself. Freaking fantastic, man. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm not going to lie. I like it a lot. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to this bug, because this bug pretty much, uh, somebody opened it up and taped it. I don't know where I got it from. I don't know if I got it, and maybe one of the many people that have stayed with me over the years opened it up, or one of their kids or something, because from time to time, we take in strangers. We do that, well, they're not strangers. They're friends or family, y'all, but it is an old black wall. It does have some cool 80 graphics on it. I like it. I like it a lot. It is pretty freaking sweet. Yep. Just like today's, the headlights are part of the uh, bumper, except this is all metal. Metal top, metal bottom, black wall wheels. Minty shape, man. Minty, minty shape. Yeah. So that's going to be a nice addition to the VW collection, I think. I like it. I like it a lot. I ain't going to lie. So last one up. Let's see what we got. 1994 Premier Edition Scott Grissom Wow, okay Driving the Channel Lock car and I use Channel Locks <laughs> Channel Locks are a great brand man Absolutely Looks like this one's been taken before You see all the pertinence there 1994 It's sad uh, It's sad we're, we're gonna open this up You know why? Because it's been way too long Almost well, it's been almost 30 years now because it was 2023 and this is 94, so it's over 30 years. Let's open this up. Wow. Wow, okay, there's all kinds of dirt and wow. All right. Well, I can once say one thing for Racing Champions. When they did a special edition, they did a great package. So let's go ahead. Oh, wow, it's attached to the, see they're attached to, nope, it's, <laughs> the tires have actually melted to the base over time, craziness, but there we go, there we go, I'm going to back this up just a, just a little bit, yeah, wow, it's a long time to be stuck in a package, man. I don't ever want to be a toy car, not not in a collector's world, <laughs> where they put you in the wall and you never get out. Sadness. Time to start cracking this car, but this is a sweet display. But I just want you to see this. The wheels are actually melted to the bottom of the base. See that? I don't think that's glue. No, that is just flat out. That's just flat out where it melted in place. Sadness, infinite sadness. But the car is in great condition. Absolutely fantastic condition. Rolls like a champ, man, like a racing champ. Yeah, fantastic. So yeah, y'all, so I got busy trying to be organized and then what I do? I got distracted and my heart went out for these cars that have never been taken out or played with and uh had to do something about that y'all yeah sad because i love that mercedes i didn't even know i had that mercedes i love it right color interior beautiful classic 1990s era mercedes something you see on miami vice or something freaking fantastic man yeah back to the days of the old nascar fantastic bob bug little vw bugs man 
great additions to the collection. Already had them, didn't even know it. So, there you go, y'all. Well, anyway, that's all I got. Last video for the weekend. Go back to work in the morning. And, uh, yeah, y'all. So, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your time off from work. Uh, as for me, I go back tomorrow. So, I will see you again probably on a hump day video. Sorry about the shaking, y'all. As always, be safe, be well, and be kind. Always be kind. Till the next time at the garage, I'll see you later, grease monkeys.